Hi, and welcome back to the Biomechanics of the Musculoskeletal System course. In this core, in this unit, we are going to be focusing on joint kinetics, most specifically uh, based on our previous unit in which we had talked about kinetics, where they come from, and how we measure them. We're going to see how we get from those uh, kinetic pieces of data to joint kinetics. You see, we had talked about using force plate to get your forces. Now, those forces come out uh, as a vector. At least when it's all processed together. In Visual 3D, you're used to seeing this blue arrow when it's been associated with segment. But that in itself is not a piece of information that we are using in biomechanics as much as joint kinetics. But the process of getting from this blue arrow, which is the uh, force assigned to vector, uh, assigned to a segment, here if we have our subject walking and coming along We have all of these individual joints. The kinetics inside those joints, so for example, forces, towers, and moments, is critically important to our studies in biomechanics. However, how we get those is also important. It's under, and important to understand what Visual 3D uh, is doing, for example, now you might be used to using a different software to obtain your joint kinetics, but the science behind it is probably the same. So throughout this unit, we are going to focus on how we're getting that data and what it really means. So continue on as we introduce the concepts of inverse dynamics and how that applies to the field of biomechanics.